Please stop. What the f did you just do, Dan? It's perfect. Hi, welcome to Angel's Anything Show. And today, my boyfriend is gonna give me a haircut. That's right, folks. Look at these tresses. You've probably seen in videos or heard me complaining. My hair is so effing long right now and I put off getting a cut and I put off getting a cut all winter and like all February, I was like, I'll go next week, I'll go next week and then wouldn't you know it, a pandemic hit and now I can't go get my hair cut. Now, I don't go to a salon. I went to a salon for like a year because I thought that I was supposed to do that. I only really ever get like a trim or a cut. I don't really color my hair that much or ever. So paying $60 to get a couple inches trimmed off my hair, it just really wasn't worth it. And then I found out that like, they're supposed to give you a little bit of a head massage and my lady wasn't even giving me a head massage. I'm like, it is not worth the money. So I started going back to Grey Clips and I gotta tell you, they do a great job. I've had three different people. Each time the experience is slightly different. I was talking to one of the ladies that worked there and she's like, yeah, you know, at salons, they're doing tons of different stuff. Whereas at like a Supercuts or a Great Clips, they're just doing hair. So in a way they have more practice because they're doing it all day. I don't know. It's just hair. I'm not that precious about it. So I feel like if Dan fucks it up, that's okay because A, it's long, so there's a lot of room for air, and B, we're gonna be inside a lot longer so there's plenty of time for it to grow out. So with that said, I'm going to think just part it down the middle. I know some people say to part it like to what your natural part is, but I switch my parts a lot, so I'm just gonna go down the middle and then we're gonna wet it. <laughs> that's a good thumbnail. I'm gonna wet it, brush it, and then we'll get started. Dan, do you wanna come in here and pose for a thumbnail quick? No. Please. Uh-oh. Dan, you must. No. You have to, you're in the video. Uh-oh. I'm gonna cut my own then. I'm gonna cut my own. Oh. All right, as you can see, my hair is wet and I look terrifying. <laughs> you know that meme where it's like a lizard in a salon chair and they're like, like what everyone looks like sitting at the salon. It's true. Why do we all look so ugly at the salon? So I watched a bunch of tutorials and the gist of it is you need like wet hair or damp hair. And depending on the length and thickness of your hair, you can do one ponytail, which I feel like, eh. You can do pigtails. You could do like multiple sections. I feel like the thicker the hair, the more sections. And then you put them in little rubber bands and you put well, they don't have to be little rubber bands, but I mean, that's just what I have. These little braces, rubber bands, remember these shits? You put one rubber band at the top of the section to like hold it in place, and then you put the second rubber band about where you want to cut. Now, I've seen people cut above the rubber band, but Brad Mondo says to cut below the rubber band and to cut in and up to make it angled. I mean, look, if I fucked my hair up and ended up on his channel, I'd be down, but I don't really want that to happen. So because of my length of hair, it's kind of long, and because my hair is pretty fine, well, I mean, it's not that fine, but it's not thick. I feel like it was thicker. I'm gonna do pigtails. Dan, will you come in and help me now? It's time. Okay, so you're not gonna help me cut the hair because I need the clickbait that my boyfriend cuts my hair. Can you help me with the pigtails at least? The back is even. Dan, there's no part yet. Well, you're doing it wrong. Can you help me? No. You don't know how to part hair? Uh-uh. Please? You know how to do it. You know you do. You did it. I, it has to be perfectly even. It is perfectly it even. It isn't. It is. Quarantine. Four. Okay, now that I look like the girl from The Grudge, I'm gonna put these rubber bands in. There he is. Then you cut above that? No, 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 this is the... Dan, you already forgot the video we watched. I feel like I should be nervous. You're going pretty short. Dan, this is just the first one. This is the stabilizing. Do I even need you for this? You're not, I don't think you're gonna, I think you're bringing me down. Call me in for the cut. Dan, I'm about to do it. I wanna be the cutter. No, because I, I don't trust you in your delirium tremens. What, delirious tremens? Your DDs. <laughs> why, why do you get that towel out? Because I'm, Dan, we're at the barber shop. So, this is my Luke. <laughs> it looks so ugly, oh my God. You this, by like the way, that. I have a huge vein here, which doesn't bother me, but I do have a huge vein there, which is fine. Who's that chick from the Adams family? Wednesday. You look like Wednesday. Oh, thank you. That's the nicest thing anyone's ever said to me. How short, Dan? Two inches. Two inches. I don't know what that... Now, this side already feels like it's... Thicker? 
longer. <laughs> I kind of want to cut it now. Okay. All right, you want to do one strand and I'll do one? No, 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 no. Okay. Can you fix it though when I fix and you even it and stuff? Yeah. Wait, you want to make a cut? I don't know. I don't trust you. Well, you have to because the clickbait. Okay, so these have to be even. Why? So this is where you know. Who cares? Let's just do a funky, man. Da I found a ruler. I probably shouldn't have used black ones because it's really hard to see. I don't even have regular scissors, by the way. I just have like weird kitchen scissors. So Brad Mondo says to first hold it and then to like cut under and then go back in and fix it. That's done, we did that. I mean, it's not that much, but it's probably, well, let's measure it, let's, let's see. Yeah, it's about two and a half inches, so. I mean, I could continually, I could continue to fuck this up and it would still be fine, I think. This is kind of crazy, like, I have like kind of a rush. Dan, I did the first cut! You wanna do another, you wanna do a cut? No. Are you sure? Alright. You just cut straight across? Yeah, and then we're gonna fix it. I thought it. we were doing No, we're gonna do that after. I use different scissors, though. Don't use those, I use different ones. You're doing a terrible job, I can tell. Please stop. What the fuck did you just do, Dan? It's perfect. You didn't listen to anything that I said. What do you mean? Okay, so now that I've tried to fix these, I'm gonna even this shit out. So then, you're supposed to just like, snip up into the hair. I can't see, it's too far. Whew, got stars in my eyes. Okay, I don't fucking know, dudes. Let's see. You know, normally I would never do something like this, but I haven't gotten my hair cut in like six months, and at this rate, it's gonna be another who knows how long, and I cannot. You know when your hair is so long, like every time you look at yourself, you're just grossed out. Oh my God, in my college once, there was this girl whose hair was so long, it was down to her feet. She was kind of like a, I don't know, she like was in like the Dungeons and Dragons Club or whatever. Not like I have any hate on that, but just like setting the picture. She was kind of like nerdy, a little unkempt, a little unclean. <laughs> Which may or may not be related to the Dungeons and Dragons thing. Oh God, you guys, I don't know what I've done. But anyway, one day she was walking around campus with her long hair and it was like gross. And I was standing behind her and she walked into the we were both walking into the dorm at the same time and I was behind her and the wind gusted and it gusted her big long hair into my mouth. It was horrible. Okay, so I'm gonna take these out and see what's what. Let's see what's doing. Hopefully nothing too traumatizing here. Really wish I had like a mirror or anything just looking into this viewfinder, you know? <laughs> Already I'm seeing some discrepancies. All right guys, I just looked in the mirror and I feel like it's gonna be okay. I think it's gonna be a decent haircut and we're gonna make it through. So because of that, I need to make sure that I really fuck it up and try to give myself a little bit of face framing. Now I just saw Jen Atkin do this. I don't know if I'm doing this right. I don't know if this does anything. I don't know if I'm a natural. These scissors are actually pretty decent. And then I think I have to take this same amount and then, that might have just been the fuck up right there, guys. All right, let me go check this out in the bathroom mirror, clean it up, blow dry it, and I'll be back. All right, guys, we're back. What do you think? I think it is pretty good for my first ever haircut during a pandemic. Um, didn't know what I was doing, could hardly see. Boyfriend tried to sabotage me. And to be honest, I'm rocking this Jennifer Aniston style lob. Feeling real good about it. Dan, will you come in here, please? Like, this isn't the best haircut I've ever had, but I don't think it's the worst. The worst was definitely when my sister cut my hair over a humidifier when I was two. Does the back look crazy? No, it looks perfect. What do you think? I did a good job. You? Mm -hmm. So what do you think of the haircut for real? You asking me? Or He's what? like, you, yeah. Oh, it's good. He's like, you got a haircut. 
All right, anyway, um, thanks for watching this episode of Angel's Anything Show. I guess I'm a hair cutter now. Hmm. Let me know what you think of the cut. Let me know if you had to give yourself any type of creative cuts so far since you've been home. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Next? No, you didn't help me with this. How about your roots? How's your quarantine going, guys? How's your quarantine going?